Let's return to our main story now, the looming U.S. debt crisis. Let's speak to Mark Bloomfield, a political economist for the American Council for Capital Formation. It's a business advocacy and a think tank confederation. Mark is in Washington. Uh, if this were a game of poker, surely the Republicans would know we just have to wait because the president will surely not want to be the president that makes this country default. I think it's a little bit more unclear. Uh, we had complete silence until yesterday, and now we have hopeful noise. But we don't know who wins or who loses yet. So what do you advise? Um, I advise uh, to hope for the best. Um, I, uh, if we don't, uh, we really do face a, a big calamity. I think the markets and political pressure are going to come up with a resolution. There are sort of three issues. One is, uh, do we, we allow the U.S. government to borrow more? The second, of course, is do we open the government? And third, and more importantly, do we get rid of all the uncertainty in the United States and for world economies? The government shutdown seems to have become almost a secondary issue now uh, ahead of this impending deadline and trying to avoid the debt default. But are the preconditions that the Republicans are placing on this temporary measure that they're offering the president, are they just too much for the president to accept? Oh, I don't think so. Um, I think uh, their political posturing on both sides. Um, and I can see a situation where there is some compromise. I can see dealing with the immediate problem, which would be devastating. That is to say, a U.S. default. And then hopefully slowly uh, dealing with more fundamental problems, using opening the government to address our overspending um, and our long-term fiscal uh, insanity. We're reporting that the markets were reacting fairly positively to the Republican offer. But can you tell me, do you think this is a minor detail? J.P. Morgan Chase selling U.S. government debt uh, that's exposed to that debt ceiling. Is that a minor point? Are the markets going to react to that, that these other companies, not just J.P. Morgan, are selling their U.S. government debt? Well, they, they, you have the big positive move, as you pointed out, that uh, the stock market went up 2%. Uh, you have um, uh, more confidence in the world markets. Um, um, I think what you have is concern still that perhaps uh, the United States will not be able to uh, borrow. And if they're not going to be able to borrow, obviously they're going to have to pay higher interest rates uh, because of the uncertainty. But I think by and large the markets are very much signaling that they hope and believe that there be, will be a positive resolution. Okay, Mark Bloomfield, as ever, thanks for the analysis. Thank you.